business are really under pressure and are the pressure from different stakeholders. Think about customers, invest, investors, employees, regulators. Currently, there are more than 600 uh, regulator, regulations of initiatives uh, that are demanding uh, companies to become uh, ESG compliant. Eh? So, and ESG are now the hottest letters in the digital agenda today. ESG, ESG, if you know everybody is uh, familiar with that, stands for Environmental, Social and Governance. And ESG standards and practice uh, indicate to the stakeholder, to different stakeholders uh, and organis the, the organization commitment to achieve a greater good. So I think we all will agree that we will feel you know, better when our employer is committed to the ESG standards. And now, since sustainability is not a journey at a destination, we have a, uh, in this journey, there are different challenges uh, uh, that the companies need to solve. First, think about how to gather this ESG data along the entire value chain, uh, Web3. So the customer uh, or um, the companies need to record, to gather data and record this data. Then not only record, but also report. We need to keep, our companies need to keep up with the uh, current uh, ESG requirements uh, to report along the respective regulatory and voluntary uh, frameworks. And last but not least, and the, maybe the most important one, is to act. Companies need to close the gap between strategy and action. It's not only about having a bold sustainability strategy, but this should convert to an action. And how can companies do that? By embedding, embedded, uh, embedding sorry, sustainability to all their business processes and Web3 solutions. And, and now, if we, if we talk about the principles, I think when, when we are developing, uh, when the Web3 is evolving, we should keep in mind that this needs to contribute to the 3 zero sustainability or 3 zero sustainability vision. The 3 zero sustainability is a zero emissions, a zero waste, and zero inequalities. But now I would like to focus on the zero emissions. Uh, so the Web3 is not 100% virtual. Huh? Why? Why is not? Because sustainability, uh, the sustainability of Web3 depends on energy that the, the derives from the physical world. So we still, uh, uh, the Web3 still needs to make use of data centers, um, the storage and cooling, and this represents like around uh, uh, 65, uh, 80 percent of the of the share in energy use. And now, if you think about it, only 12% of the energy in the U.S. comes from renewables. I mean, we, we need to, to move to, to energy, uh, to clean energy in order to create a positive impact. But not only, don't think only about the servers, the storage and the cooling, but think about the, the efficiency in, in creating the algorithm. So... I think that computer scientists need to learn coding techniques that allow them to design and program energy efficient algorithms. They need to learn how they can apply to an algorithm to reduce uh, the energy consumption. And, uh, and not only that, but also how to measure, because we go, we go back to the, to the fact that companies need to record, report, and act, right? So they need to, they need to measure. But this is not, uh, not the only thing that can be done uh, to, to reach zero emissions, but also educate uh, users and consumers. For example, what consumers can, uh, can do is uh, to prefer to stream uh, in a standard uh, definition instead of high uh, definition, because high definition, of course, has a higher environmental impact in terms of carbon emissions. Then encourage energy efficient be, uh, behavior. Teach consumers to reduce their energy uh, usage when using, using uh, Web3. For example, they can avoid excessive use of uh, graphics, excessive use of animations. For example, this environment looks great, but uh, the question is, is uh, what sustainable design? 
So there are some things that the customers can do. Uh, uh, now, if we talk about uh, the zero waste, we can uh, impose a circular, a circular economy. No? Uh, customers could make use of um, se second-hand uh, devices in order to, to reduce the, the e-waste. And, and another point that uh, also includes, uh, also considers uh, the impact in, in sustainability will be the zero inequalities. That the metaverse and the Web3 uh, should be guided by social responsible principles. This should consider that uh, Web3 should be accessible, affordable and inclusive so think about people with disabilities, think about uh, the personal boundaries that people should be uh, treated with respect uh, in the same way they are treated uh, in, in the real life.